Hi guys, it's Jill, and uh, today I'm doing a video on how to lunge your horse. And um, I'm doing bow in the Pessoa, but um, this video is just basic on how you should stand, and this is how I've been taught. I know there are many, many ways, and uh, I, I don't mean to tell anybody that you're wrong, and um, different horses respond differently to different methods, and um, the way that I was doing it before just wouldn't work with a green horse and um, with Zoe it really showed so um, uh, this is the way I lunge now and uh, these are just some tips and tips and tips and tricks for you to learn how to lunge. So um, I'm using my new lunge line that I got for Christmas. It's like a, it's Centaur brand but it's like super clothy like in here. That's what it looks like and uh, then I've got my big connector here that uh I don't particularly like this one because I feel like it's just going to flip over his nose or his always nose since her nose is smaller and Boo has a rather large little schnoz. I like my line to be like this. Um, in order to do that, you can just pull it and then you've got one loop, pull it, and then go the other way. So you go over careful not to have any complete circle loops because if you do and the horse were to take off or get spooked then uh, your hand will just be like no hand just when your horse is traveling to the right your right hand will be on the rein closest to the horse and your left hand will hold the whip and the one the excess lunge line and there won't be this much once I start lunging. This is the way I hold my whip because I think it's the most effective. A lot of people hold it like this and it'll wear your arm out faster versus holding it like this and you can just use your shoulder and elbow to get the whip action. Whip action. I'm gonna lunge him like this with it up here a little relaxed. I'm gonna put it between his legs and ask him to stretch down. Um, a lot of you ask the purpose of the Pessoa and uh, we use the Pessoa to um, allow the horses to track up with their hind end and engage and then stretch over their back and down with their necks. Um, the little fuzzy butt bar activates when the horse uh, becomes inverted and then it just adds a little oomph so that the horse goes, oh god, <laughs> and then just like tucks the hind end and stretches over their back. So um, yeah, I'll give a little demonstration now and I'll shut up. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's get going. So here in the video, I've just tightened his girth, and now I am stretching his legs out so that he doesn't get girth sores from his skin getting pinched, and Bo's just dumb and parks out and doesn't move his feet. <laughs> to ask your horse to walk on, all you need to do is stand in between his hip and his shoulder and just kind of angle your whip hand and shoulder towards the horse and ask him to walk on with a little flick of the whip. Say walk or click. Or cluck if you're not mentally challenged. <laughs> like, what? when did I? That's a cluck, not a click. Anyhow, in all seriousness, then I just ask him to trot. First by asking with a voice command, which is either a cluck, not a click, or saying trot clearly. And if he doesn't respond, then I walk towards him a little bit, and if he doesn't respond to that, I flick the whip, no response. Then I might tap him on the heels with the little little whip of the whip, you know, feeling me. Cream of the crop. Gravy of the potatoes. Wood of the tree. Yeah. I gotta get better jokes. Anywho to how, to continue, um, you just keep your body in between the shoulder and his hip, and uh, to say walk, you take a step backwards, Lean over and say whoa and drop your voice an octave is at least how I do it because I'm a freak. Since I did the join up stuff before I moved on to the actual lunging with the bobo, he tends to come into the circle when I ask him to change direction. So that is just how he do to do and I would like you to not judge him for that because he is a beautiful butterfly and he is special in his own ways, you feel? Anyhow, how to ask your horse to change direction can be quite difficult for horses who are new at this and all you have to do is 
make the horse come down to a complete stop and then you can move over careful to be where your whip are you know you don't want to be flicking it because then they will just continue in the same direction you need to switch your whip hand and your your um your um, horse hand if you will to different sides and then you stand in the same spot except on the other side and then you ask the horse walk on and then he should walk on and if he doesn't then you did something wrong obviously at this part of the video, the camera decided that it was going to fall off of the little rock contraption I had it setting on, so now it is in a chair, supported by the same rock, and um, now it is crooked. So enjoy my crooked photography, I really like it. Um, also, Bo decided, he said, mm -mm, no canter, I think not. And when your horse tends to disagree with you a little bit, you have to ask them to keep going in the circle, otherwise it teaches them to acting up can mean that you just, you just, you just, he gets out of work, you know, that's no good. So, um, yeah, I just asked him to keep doing the canter, canter, canter. Canter, Bo, canter. And he said, <coughs> and I said, you must go on. And he said, what does that mean? We're trotting, that's what that means. <laughs> Here we go, I'm having so much fun. Joe doesn't even understand what's going on. <laughs> now we're cantering like a horse. I remember this, yes. This is cantering. Cantering can be fun. Here we go. And I lost my balance and now we're trotting again. Hooray. Oh dear. Take active steps the backwards and then say, whoa and then the horse should turn into you and say, Hey, do you have any apples? I would like the apples. And you must say, Horse, walk. Walk on, horse. It is not time to come in. I said, Whoa, not whoa. There is a difference. Whoa means that you must stop entirely. And whoa means that you bring down a gate. Sometimes people might also use the word walk. But sometimes walk is just not the first word that comes to a human mind. Human mind cannot be tampered with. Human mind cannot be expected. Human mind is unpredictable. I am 85% positive that my parents are sitting in there listening to every single word I'm saying because they keep pausing their TV show. <laughs> and then I made him canter this way, blah, 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 canter, 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 head tossing, blah, 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 blah. Let's skip this. <laughs> and now I have demonstrated a proper trot. Vocal. Also, I'm currently texting Jenna Equestrian Connection, and she said that you attach the um the leash to the horse's head thing, and then you yell at it lots, and you make it go in circles, and you say, "Kumbaya, kumbaya!" And if the horse does not go faster, you yell it louder. You must chase that horse. You must chase it. You must chase horse, or horse will not do anything. And as you have previously watched, you have witnessed me swing the horse rope all over my body. Like I am some kind of sensual dancer. And that is, this is how you not, how you not lunge horse. And you should always not do that. And Bo was like, what are you, what are you doing, Mr. Slouchy? Your shoulder's on the wrong shoulder. And I, you're just, okay. What? Look how such poor technique. Rope are on ground. And rope are hard to use when are on ground. And when horse walks, horse can step on and rope and break and rope. And rope must be off ground at all times. Collect rope, you stupid, pestilent human. You must collect and rope. Now is the time that you'll be witnessing the poor go-go technique. I call this the go-go technique because the, the lunger is having reins and bad handness and also ran after the horse a little bit, but also didn't want to get kicked in filming this video, so try not to be too extravagant. You should never chase an horse because an horse will be forced to result in the attackings. An horse will pounce on you, an horse will stample on you, an horse might bite and rip at your flesh. An horse does not like to do an things, but an horse must be forced if an horse is forced. You feel me? You feel me? Bad lunger also is in front of horse's shoulder. Horse says, that means stop, yes? That is why it is important to stay in between an shoulder and an hip, because going in front of an horse means Get out of my way, and horse, you must change direction, and horse, and horse, you must stop traveling, or you will run me over, and that would be no good, because my face would be defiled by your hoof prints and crackalation in my skull. 
So now I'm done being stupid and talking in all separate voices. I just wanted to, like, make this not boring. How to launch your horse video because every other one is all serious and that's boring. That's so boring. But look how good Mr. Bobo is. He says, my head is on the ground. Do, 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 do. It's rotting. Okay, this video is this video's gonna have to end now. <laughs> Finished! He just gets to relax with nothing tied to his feet. Some things to address. Uh, voice commands. Very, very useful, very important. And transfer. So, you train your horse to walk, trot, canter, or orange pineapple traffic light. And he will, <laughs> he will learn to walk, trot, canter to any of those. On command. So when you're in jumping, if you can't get your canter, you can't get your trot, it might just be an extra little oomph that will get it going. Particularly when I'm lunging, I first ask with voice and I say trot or and then if he doesn't, then I interchange those and just like trot. He says, What are you talking about? And um, then I'll um, get after him with the rope a little bit and if he doesn't then I flick the whip and if he doesn't then I might tap him on the heels with the whip. Um, he's he's pretty easygoing and quite quite a deadhead. <laughs> Recognize how important and <laughs> useful the tones of your voice are is whatever. Um, like when you say trot and canter you need to be very clear and just like clean cut trot and they recognize that and your words should all sound a little different because they can pick up like little differences like walk and, and like I like to drop an octave um, when I'm asking him to drop a gate I don't know that just that makes sense to me <laughs> um, so I'll just be like walk and he drops instantly and I say trot and uh, canter is normally with a smooch like a and um, sometimes uh, if his inside ear isn't paying attention to me, I'll whistle at him to get his attention because he knows that means come or watch me, <laughs> watch me. Voice commands are so, so useful and so, so important and the horses really respond to them. And uh, any loud screaming obnoxiousness is just gonna worry your horse and make him anxious and it's just, don't be loud and obnoxious. Be clear and concise and when you're t and make sure and tell them good boy and good girl all the time because their little eyes just light up they're like ah yes that was me i did that it's me it looks like this <laughs> and um i say good boy in a higher pitch than i say anything else so that it doesn't mean a command i say walk trot canter and i say whoa and ho or ho and then good boy is good boy and a different like Jenna Marbles voice. <laughs> Things to know about lunging. Thanks. Never lunge one direction more than five minutes. Um, just change direction every two, three minutes or every five minutes. Just remember that forever how long you lunge, your ride time would be double that. So lunging is in a circle, it's tighter, and it uses them more. So. If you lunge for half an hour, that's the equivalent of an hour long ride. So I normally lunge for 15 to 25 minutes. Damn, well, look at all that crap. I don't need all that. I can I can trot just fine without all that. You know, I don't understand. About to leave us forever. It's so sad. <sighs> I hope his new owner sends me lots of pictures and videos because I need them and I won't bother them all the time for them. <laughs> because I love my little bull. Please. He says, I'm gonna eat your fingers. I'm gonna get them. <laughs> As we walk back up to the barn, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. And uh, if you would, give this video a like and comment if there's anything you think I did wrong. Be polite. <laughs> and um, tell me how your horse is lunging, any funny lunging stories or scary lunging stories. I know there are a lot of those. <laughs> So just uh, comment whatever you feel like. You can comment about your most recent fart if you feel like it. And um, yeah, make sure you hit subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time.
how is that fair? You're a good sport. And you were doing some dumb stuff. But you were lunging. I want that carrot. Bite. You're awful cute. You're awful cute. <laughs> Oh, baby. Here's the boy.